All right, so in this video, we're going to style the game's UI. So we want to go to the CSS file and start with the body. And we want it to have a DAC, uh, not DAC, a dark background. And that's going to be uh, 1C1B1B. Color will be a grayish, darkish grayish. And font family will stick with Arial. Okay, that's it for the body. Uh, next, we'll do the H1. Let's make that text align center. And the color will be white. Okay, um, we have a, a clear fix. And that's just to clear any floats. So we're going to say clear both. All right, and then we have our container. The container is going to have a width of 350 and the overflow will be auto. Uh, margin, we'll say 40 pixels from the top and then auto on the left and right. Background is going to be a gray, dark gray color. And add some padding to the bottom. That's what it's going to look like. Okay, so padding bottom, say 40. And let's set the border radius. We'll set that to 10. Okay, so for the most important part, which is the board. Okay, the board is a UL. And um, actually, you know what? We're not going to do the actual board. We need to do each item in the board. Oops. So board li, uh, we want to float to the left. Okay, uh, margin 10 pixels on all sides. Height, we'll do 70 pixels. And let's see, width will also be 70. Font size going to be pretty big. Um, it's 55. The background will be a dark color. And the actual color will be a light gray of the text. Okay, list style obviously is going to be none. And let's align to the center. And let's see, radius, let's say five pixels. All right, so those that's the each board item or spot. Okay, I also want to do a hover. So board li hover. And we're going to change the cursor to a pointer. And also change the background color to black. Okay, and the reset button. We're going to make border zero and the background make four, four, four. Actually, yeah, okay. And the color will be white. Uh, the width of the button will be 70% and we'll add some padding of 15 pixels and a border radius to of uh, 5 pixels to match the spots. Okay, so we're going to have two classes that we add and remove quite a bit. Okay, so we'll have the O class. And that's just going to have a color of green. And we're going to make that important. All right. And then we're going to have a class X. Okay. And that color will be red. 
important. And lastly, we have a footer. Okay, we're going to set that to display block. And let's see, we want it aligned to the center. And padding, padding top. 20 pixels. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So we're going to go from this to this. Okay, obviously nothing happens when we click. Uh, reset game. I want to add an overlay to that as well, hover. So actually, you know what, I'm just going to copy this. And say reset. We don't need this li reset hover. All right, good. So that's the CSS. Um, in the next video, we're going to add all the JavaScript.